Hello my YouTube friends, Ken Mercer here. I do apologize for not being on my channel this year. I haven't done very much at all. I think I've put out only one video or something. There, There's a reason for that. Uh, it's not because I've neglected you guys or I'm neglecting my channel. It's simply because I've been working on two um, very big projects um, outside of the YouTube channel and uh, it's taking up a lot of my time. One of the things, I'll just tell you very briefly before we get into the lesson I want to do for you today. The first thing that's taking up my time is um, building guitars. I, I'm sorting out my garage, I'm getting new tools in there. I've always wanted to build my own guitars and I'm just sort of getting into that uh, guitar building world now and uh, really enjoying it. And uh, it's 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 slowly all coming together. So uh, that's one of the things that I've been working on. The other thing is I'm making backing tracks for a live show that I'm going to do in the future here in the, my local area. I want to put on a Simon and Garfunkel evening. So I'm learning the drum parts on my uh, electronic drum kit. I'm learning the bass parts for the songs, the guitars, the piano, and the backing vocals and everything. So I'm having to learn those parts, perfect them, record them and then I'm mixing and mastering everything and that's just taking forever so uh, but it's good fun but I definitely will be getting back to my channel soon so uh, today uh, I want to teach you how to play Peace Pipe because I did a cover of it last year and I didn't follow it up with the tutorial so today I'm going to do that in the description box below you'll find th uh, three links one to the cover that I did last year you will find a link to the tablature for Peace Pipe because it's always good to have something to reference on a piece of paper while you're doing the lesson. Even though I'm showing you where to put your fingers, it's nice to know exactly how, how everything is musically and, and it's there written in front of you. So go get the tab uh, to go with the lesson. And uh, lastly, uh, for Guitar Rig 5 users, I uh, put together a series, uh, a bundle of uh, patches for um, five, I think five um, Hank Marvin sounds for some of his songs. One of which is Peace Pipe, which I'm going to be using today in the lesson, so you can hear what that sounds like. Just uh, a word of advice though, um, when you do go to my webpage, make sure you read everything about the uh, the patches because there are there are different versions of Guitar Rig and different expansion packs. And uh, if you're missing um, some of the components that come in the expansion packs, then when you put my patches in after buying them, they won't work properly. So you want to make sure you read through everything carefully and make sure that you have all of the components necessary to, to, to use the patches. So uh, that said, I just want to quickly thank everybody for the, the really nice comments I've had on my channel, on my videos uh, uh, the, over the last few months. Um, there's been a lot of nice feedback. I've had emails from people as well, which is great. Um, I love to hear from you guys, so uh, please uh, feel free to write to me anytime. Thank you all very much for the support, and let's get on with today's lesson of Peace Pipe. Okay, so we'll start with the introduction, and it's like this. Starting on the 17th fret of the high E string, and I'm playing 17, 16, 17. Okay, 17, 16, 17. Then we're moving to the B string, 10, 9, 10. Then we go to the D string, 7, 6, 7. And then to the low E string, we're playing 5, 4, 5. Okay, let's move on to the verse. Okay, high E string. We're playing nine, twelve, nine. 12 on the B, 12, 10. I put my little finger across both the uh, B and the E string there just to get a little more sustain out of the note I played before. So. Okay. 
Now we're playing. So you see the shape there? It's, it's almost like a chord, but we're playing individual notes. But I like to hold them down to let everything ring out. So we've got. Okay. Those notes are 9, 10, 11, and 12. Starting with the B string on the 10th fret. Okay, the next part. Okay, so we're playing, uh, starting on the G, playing 9 two times, 12 on the B, slide up to 14 and back down to 12. So, we're going to do exactly what we've done here, except we're going to start one tone lower. So we're starting on the 7th instead of the 9th. And we play 7-7, seven, seven, 10, 12, 10, sliding just like we did before. Okay, this part here. Starting on the G, 9th fret, 12 on the B, 10, back to the 9th. Now we're going to play this. Okay, starting on the G, we're going to play the 9th. And then go to 10 and 8 on the B. Back to the 9. And then we're going from uh, 7 to 10. 7 on the G, 10 on the D. And again, I like to hold these notes. Okay. Those notes are played on the G, the D, and the A. There we go. You can tell I haven't done lessons for a while. <laughs> You're on YouTube. I've been absent and I've forgotten everything. Okay. So we're playing 7, 9, and 10. Then we move it down one tone. So we're playing 5, 7, 8. Now we move it down one semitone. And we're playing four, six, seven. And this time I go. So I just strike that uh, fourth fret note three times. So that whole section there that we've just done is. Then we go back to Okay, now we have a really nice little section that's palm muted. If you don't know what palm muting is, it's when you put the palm of your hand just over the the strings near the bridge so you get that muffled kind of sound rather than okay so I'll play the section through and then you can see how it's done slowly okay now this might be a little struggle for me to play it a little slower and get the notes right, so bear with me. Um, we're starting on the G and on, we're on the 11th fret. And we're playing 
on the B, the 14th and the 12th. So we've got... Then we go down to the 10th, so we've got... Okay. Now we change one note. Instead of going on the 11th, we're now using the index finger and playing the 10th. And playing exactly what we just played, only we're substituting the 11th fret note with the 10th fret note. And now, once again, we're going to move the, uh, the, G, the G string note down, and we're going to the 9th fret. This time, though, on the, on the B, rather than going to the 10th fret, we're going to the 9th, so we're going... Okay, so one more time I'll play it through. Now the, uh, the next section we go to here and I'll play it through first. Let me just move across a little so you can see the end of my guitar because that's where we're going to be. We're going to be playing it all here. So, uh, so it's like this. <laughs> There's a lot of open strings going on there. We're starting with the open A and then going to the open D. Hang on, let me just position myself. There we go. I think you can see. You should be able to see my, my picking hand now a little better. Okay, so we're going to go open A, open D. And there, I'm just going to the fourth frets on, on both the A and the D string. So. Playing exactly the same thing now, just moving down one string, everything down one string. So instead of starting on the A, we're now starting on the low E string, E to A. And to the fourth frets again. Okay, now we're going to play open E to the second fret on the A. 2, 1, 2, open D, 2 on the A, 4 on the E, finishing with an open A string. So now we go through, uh, if, you, if you go and listen to the, uh, the original song, you'll have to repeat again this section. Okay, and uh, it'll come to an outro, which is just basically this. Um, so we're playing, I'll just play it through for you so I can get to that part and you can see what it sounds like, or hear what it sounds like rather. We're playing seven, six, seven on the, uh, on the D, so is what we played before in the intro we're just uh, playing it in reverse and we're missing out the uh, the last we're not playing the five four five part so we're going uh, imagine we're playing the intro backwards we'd be going five four five seven six seven ten nine ten and then seventeen sixteen seventeen but we're not playing five four five so we just start with the uh, seven six seven up to ten nine ten 17, 16, 17. And now we're playing, uh, here, we're playing on the 14th fret. So 14 on the E, 14 on the B, and finishing with a double stop, which is uh, playing these two notes together on the G and the B string. So we're playing the uh, 18th and the 17th together. <laughs> 